Right now, Madam, we are in the Indian office Madam. with Mr. Kit. Hello, Mr. Kit. Do not forget to like, share, and comment in my channel, YouTube. Miss Evelyn? Yes. Oh, no, no. Yes. Okay. We were having some Bye -bye. meeting here. Bye-bye. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Welcome you. to Tien's. Keep continue our work. And Miss Haley also <laughs> here. <laughs> this is the new channel. Miss Haley Ford is the Tien manager. Well, it's just ready for the meeting. And hope you will be with us and can be benefited by these unique features. Unique Woman is especially for women who need for their internal health and help restore and maintain women's health while at the same time highlighting beauty and making us look young. to take risks such as taking injection and uh, taking breath and doing fat suction surgery just to make them look more beautiful and youthful attractive. So in addition, most women don't know exactly what are the main problems of women health. In fact, Women spend a lot of time and money, but it does not give good effect to the beauty and appearance they dream of. Because most women do not know that external beauty is actually coming from inside their body. So they First is sexual and reproductive health and uh, HPV, breast cancer, cervical cancer, osteoporosis, menopause, infertility, and anemia. Yes, we understand. Then we will follow by a video that it concerns about the period and normal. Still, many women do not realize the importance of good uterus and overall health care. The female body is like a tree. The female face is just like a flower. The breast is like a leaf. And the uterus is like a woman's root. With proper care of uterus and ovaries, well and perfectly, our breast will keep firm and our face will grow health. Wow, very good. Nice. nice. Let's see the video first. Wow. wow. Hi. I'm Dr. Cynthia Q, and I am an obstetrician and gynecologist at Mount Elizabeth Novena Hospital. Today I'm going to talk to you about painful periods. Now, many of you may have experienced painful periods and you might be wondering whether this is normal or is there something or some disease that's affecting your gynecological organs. Let me talk to you about two types of period pain. The first is primary dysmenorrhea, which is period pain that starts soon after you initiate your first menses. So these usually start from your teenage years and these are not due to any disease condition. The second type of period pain is called secondary dysmenorrhea. So as the term suggests, it comes on later in life and it is due to some condition or underlying disease that affect the pelvic or reproductive organs. Now, what are the causes or conditions can contribute to secondary dysmenorrhea? The first one is endometriosis. This is a condition when the lining of the womb gets displaced outside the uterus 
It makes the organs scar and stick together and causes back period pains and sometimes difficulty getting pregnant. The second condition is adenomyosis. This is a condition quite similar to endometriosis in that the endometrium lining grows in the wrong place in the muscle wall of the womb. Every month during your menses when the lining shed, this causes a lot of pain, inflammation and scarring. Pelvic inflammatory disease is an infection that starts from the vagina and spreads to the uterus, fallopian tubes and ovaries. If left untreated, it may damage the reproductive organs. Uterine fibroids are known cancerous tumors that grow within the uterus muscle. They often may come without symptoms, but some of them may cause menstrual pain, heavy menses, and may even affect fertility. I'm going to talk to you about some symptoms that may alert you that your period pain is abnormal. Menstrual pain that occurs during the first two to three days of the menses and easily relieved by painkillers may be usual, but if the pain is intense and severe, doesn't get relieved by painkillers, or if it affects your normal life, that something may be wrong. Pain that occurs over a longer duration, for example, if pain comes before the menses starts, or if pain continues beyond your menstrual period, is also not normal. If you have bowel movement pain, pain when passing urine, or pain when you're having sex. These symptoms suggest that you might have an underlying gynecological condition. If you have abnormal menstruation like heavier menses than usual, if you change pads every hour, if you have bleeding that lasts more than seven days in a month, or if your cycles are irregular, you should get checked to make sure you do not have a gynecological condition. Hey viewer, welcome to Health Tutor. In this video, we talk about 11 signs and symptoms of hormonal imbalance. Keep watching until the end to find out all of them. Hormones are produced by glands in the body and control most bodily functions, everything from very simple needs like hunger and sleep to complex ones like the onset of puberty and controlling the reproductive system. When you have a hormonal imbalance, you have too much or too little of a certain hormone. Even tiny changes can have serious effects throughout your whole body. 1. Acne Regular outbreaks of acne are associated with hormonal imbalances and could be the reason why you have pimples before your period. Although the cause of acne is clogged skin pores that become infected with bacteria, doctors from the Mayo Clinic say that hormonal changes can trigger acne and make it worse. They say that low levels of androgen hormones can exacerbate acne symptoms. 2. Low Sex Drive because your ovaries produce sex hormones, any imbalance in your hormone levels can affect your sexual desire. Estrogen is associated with increased sex drive and progesterone with reduced desire for sexual intimacy. Researchers have found that the menstrual fluctuations in estrogen and progesterone greatly affect libido. When progesterone levels increased in the body before the menstrual period the sex drive decreased. 3. Anxiety. A hormonal imbalance can cause you to experience mood swings and heightened anxiety just before your period or during the menopause. Estrogen levels constantly fluctuate during the reproductive cycle. Researchers from Harvard found that women with low estrogen levels are more prone to feeling the effects of emotional stress. They found that in clinical trials, higher levels of estrogen help to calm the fear response, helping you to be less fearful. 4. Weight Gain If you've been dieting and exercising but you're still not losing weight, or if you are gaining weight despite watching what you eat, then your hormones might be imbalanced. 
At a certain age, you tend to gain weight or struggle to lose pounds. This occurs despite what you do to keep weight off because of this condition. 5. Sweating. Irregular and excessive sweating could also be a sign of a hormonal imbalance. Hormones control your body's temperature and if your hormones are off balance, they may cause you to sweat more. Researchers from Harvard Medical School found that sweating could be a symptom of a hormonal condition. However, this is usually harmless and the only problem it may cause is discomfort or embarrassment if you sweat excessively. 6. Digestive problems. Stress can have a detrimental impact on your general health because it stimulates the production of certain hormones in your body. It also has postpartum care that it balances the hormones and overcome postpartum depress. Wow. And it also helps to keep women's sex organs healthy, which it overcome problems of the vaginal discharge mm. and also it will reduce the bad odor. Auto. And also, it's very bad. So, for more details, we have also prepared a video to show you what exactly is. Okay. Chairman in my channel. Welcome to the next video. We are still in the Tian office. Yeah, Madam Andrea there. This is Stella Mangura. Everyone is here, busy. Yeah. So, yeah. This is. Thank you so much for watching. Madam, have a blessed, blessed.